What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and Call of Duty is really out here trying to put some more pounds on us gamers because today Activision and Totino's Pizza announced that they will be partnering up together for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare season. Kind of similar to the Mountain Dew and Dorito promotion except it's with friggin pizza rolls which are absolutely amazing and if you don't like them, <coughs> lazy then there's just something very, very wrong with you. So by purchasing any Totino's product mark with the Modern Warfare promotion at a Walmart specifically, then you can earn in-game awards such as double XP. And starting now, players can buy a Totino's product to redeem a in-game calling card, an in-game watch with the purchase of two products, and then a weapon charm with the purchase of three. And again, if you buy at Walmart, then you are gonna receive a double XP boost in-game. So there's a lot of in-game rewards you can earn while snacking on some other flipping pizza rolls like this is really really awesome for me to hear um, my diet for the modern warfare season is going to consist of literally mountain dew and doritos and pizza rolls like uh it's very, really going to be unhealthy and it's kind of upsetting to me to think about but at the same time i'm going to try and watch uh the what i eat but i mean that's three of my favorite foods and snacks to eat while i'm playing video games so um yeah i'm going to be coming out of this looking a little bit more he heftier but Eh, it's gonna be worth it. I went to my local Walmart today and sadly I couldn't find any Totino's marked products with the Modern Warfare promo So I'm not sure when they'll be out But when they do you can redeem the codes on this website But the website itself isn't even up and running just yet So maybe sometime this week we can go there But what I find to be pretty cool too is that Totino's worked with Nadeshot who's an OG COD YouTuber slash former professional gamer for Optic to design the in-game awards. So I really can't wait to see what's in store for us. Hopefully everything looks pretty cool instead of something that's childish and unrealistic for Modern Warfare. And if it's anyone who would, you know, I guess know what the fans want when it comes to in-game content awards, then it's gonna be someone who's prevalent with the Call of Duty community. So. Yeah, these in-game award items are probably going to be a small example of what's to come in supply drops for Modern Warfare. It was rumored out too that there's going to be sprays, in-game emotes, and of course character outfits, maybe double XP too. But then according to the Gaming Revolution, he claims that weapons will be locked behind loot boxes too. Now if you don't know who the Gaming Revolution is, he's basically been leaking out a bunch of information regarding Modern Warfare for the past couple of months now. And most of the information he's been tweeting out was actually true. But still, I think we should all not take everything that he leaks out as facts until we really do find out the information for ourselves. And then an Infinity War developer, Joel Emsley, took to Reddit to basically just tell everyone to not focus on leaks and misinform people who want to make, quote, a name for themselves by spreading half-baked rumors. Obviously kind of calling out the gaming revolution there and his tweets from this week I'm gonna leave a link to the full reddit post. It was actually really interesting to read too But it's important to understand that he's not denying or saying that there won't be weapons locked behind loot boxes Or we won't have a fair system for the fans He's just saying that we shouldn't trust everything. That's just rumors at this point which yeah, he's right and I doubt we would even, you know, get to find out any information about supply drops from now or maybe even a few weeks from now. I can almost say for sure that based on previous COD installments that we won't find out any information about supply drops until like maybe the week before launch day. But we do have a little bit and by a little bit I mean a very, very little like a grain of salt worth of information about micros in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And this comes from Hollywood Reporter who got a behind the scenes interview with Infinity Ward and they showed off that there's more than likely going to be seasons kind of like Fortnite or Apex Legends because underneath the select a skin for Zayn there is an outfit marked with homegrown terrorism season. And another thing you may notice is there will be rarity levels for the in-game items as marked by the purple color which means it's an epic item and then lastly we do have this one option within the multiplayer menu for armory now as far as what this could mean it's definitely up in the air at this point sadly they did not show off what this menu is going to be used for 
but based off my speculations and theories i believe that this maybe is going to be used as a way for us to view our saved weapons and blueprints for um, the weapons we created within the gun bench or and this is based off from previous cod games this armory menu could be used for the purchase of in-game items by using an in-game currency like salvage or crypto keys and again this is all just speculation um again they did not access this menu in the interview too but I really just want to know what this armory menu is going to be used for because it could be something very, very cool and amazing or it could be something that's, eh, I mean, I guess that's somewhat cool. Like, you know, we can access our older weapons and save weapons we've created in the past. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not complaining at all because either option would be really, really cool. But let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. What are your theories? So. Yeah, this is really all we know at this point. I'm still extremely worried how Infinity Ward and Activision are going to handle microtransactions in this game. Like, they said on Reddit that they have poured quite literally their lives into making this the best Call of Duty to date. But some of the decisions made by the higher-ups could potentially cost Infinity Ward to hold on to that title. But either way though, I think by having these discussions early on, we'll definitely catch the attentions of these certain people. In fact, so far it's been doing pretty well and the devs for Infinity Ward themselves felt compelled to respond to these rumors. So. Let's see what happens. Hopefully there won't be weapons or stat changing weapons locked behind supply drops. Um, if you guys want to get into the discussion fully, then I definitely recommend looking at the Black Ops for Black Ops 4, the Modern Warfare subreddit. Because over there, a lot of interesting debates and discussions are going on with this subject. But still, I don't ever think supply drops will go away. So complaining and saying, hey, let's just remove supply drops, that's literally not gonna do anything. Um, Activision just makes too much money to get rid of them and in return they have to you know please their shareholders and other investors so really the only thing we can do is try to fix the system itself to make it more friendly towards the consumers so that's gonna be it for the video guys thanks for watching love y'all so so much till next time I'll see you guys later